I don't know how to tell my family I'm gay without them being disappointed in me. Let me tell you something. I don't care if they get mad and turn purple and want to jump off a cliff. I cheated on my ex with his best friend in the same room. Um, next. Situation would have been for that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? It's your girl Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another freaking video. Now, since I'm more like a, a solo YouTuber now, you know, a real YouTuber, I'm going to have to start engaging with you all more, right? Which I'm cool with. I could catfish y'all. Prank y'all, lyric pranks, and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I get it's old, you know. But I see I'm getting a better interaction when I engage with you all, and y'all know I fuck with y'all. Ten toes, nah. You get what I'm saying? New number, new me. You know what I'm saying? This phone off. But uh, so I asked y'all y'all's deepest, darkest secrets. Yes, I got this from Chrissy. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but I wanted to know y'all deepest, darkest secrets as well. So I said, you know what? How about I just do this video? You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do this. Um, and I guess I could just give y'all advice on y'all's nastiness. You know? On y'all's deceit. You're just not right. Okay? But who am I to judge? I'm not here to judge y'all. I ain't judging shit. You get what I'm saying? So... Let's just get to it, shall we? All right, so these are anonymous. I'm not gonna tell you who these people are, but the people that I'm doing this to, I'm talking to you. You get what I'm saying? So, here goes. I've cheated on all my past partners. No one ever found out, and to this day, they think I was faithful. <laughs> First of all, you ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the thing. We all got our little secret. Some shit you just gotta take to the grave. I damn sure got shit I'm taking to the grave. Okay, we... I don't know what you're talking about. Like, when did that happen? Even somebody I did it with? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. I done told them I will tell everybody. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? This ain't none of your business. I done hit a couple girls who got girlfriends at the time, who got boyfriends at the time, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Back in my whole days when I was black backsliding in Cleveland. So, <laughs> you know, you can't you can't be cheating like this. The, the, my issue with you is you're a great cheater. Like, you cheat too good. You know what I'm saying? You almost cheat too good. That it seems like you may not ever get caught. However, somebody you're gonna fall in love with probably gonna hurt your feelings. I ain't gonna lie to you, they might hurt your feelings. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, karma's a bitch, so watch yourself. Watch yourself. But you a player, player. I feel it. I feel it. That's what's up. I got married five years ago, and still to this day, we haven't told anyone. Damn! Y'all know how to keep a secret together. Now, I just feel like everybody tell one person. So I feel like y'all might be telling me a little one, you know, a little lie. Um, not that y'all telling me a lie, you know, intentionally. It's just that you don't know if they said something to somebody else. And they don't know if you said something to somebody else. Everybody got to say something to one person. One person at least, you be like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna tell nobody. I ain't gonna tell nobody, I promise. Bro, did you know? You know what I'm saying? You gotta tell somebody. But if you ain't told nobody now, I wouldn't tell them later because people don't do nothing but judge you anyway. You know what I'm saying? And especially if y'all ain't got no business being married. You know how that go, but I wouldn't care. Um, next. Ah! 
My ex and I were about to have sex, but I told her that her cootie stank. Oh, her cootie smelled like onions, and I fake moaned. Oh my God. <laughs> First of all, you told her her cootie stank, and you continued to have sex with her? That's the issue. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, back in my day, I didn't hit some stank cootie cat. Mm. New stank, still did it. Ugh, I just feel like that's young shit, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. But, um, I done faked a couple moans too, so you ain't that bad. You get what I'm saying? Now, from now on, then what you do? Before you have sex with anybody, baby. Now, there's some women out here that cootie cat don't smell like nothing. They could go run a, a full track, you know, full court basketball, workout. Cootie cat won't smell like nothing right afterward. Just blessed, okay? I don't give a damn if it's her. Everybody deserves a courtesy wash. Period. You got to wash that cat. Well, uh huh? You got to wash that cat. So, before you do it with anybody, tell them to wash that cat. Now that fake mom, I done been there done that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm at this point where I just tell her to stop cause I ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to play with my cool cat. Or I'ma just do it to you. And I just don't want, I want you to stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, all right, what's next? I don't know how to tell my family I'm gay without them being disappointed in me. Let me tell you something. I don't care if they get mad and turn purple and want to jump off a cliff. You do what the hell you feel is right in your heart for yourself. One thing I'm realizing more and more and more and more, you just can't please everybody, bro. I, I don't give a damn what you do for them, what you do to them, how you do it to them. Like, people ain't ever satisfied, ever. So, if you can't satisfy them with just simply being you, <laughs> You know, smiling and doing what you do without them, you know, judging you because right after that you decide to tell them that you like women. Screw them. Girl, I don't care. A form of disappointment shouldn't come in uh, because of your sexuality. You know, but if that's disappointing to them, then they don't deserve for you to tell them shit. You know, they don't deserve for you your honesty, they don't deserve nothing from you. Okay? I took that person. All right, next. Um, I want to date my best friend of four years. I would say don't do it because now you got to realize you're going to lose your best friend. You get what I'm saying? Now, say for instance, you know, because he or she might like you too. Say for instance, you know, y'all together. I mean, y'all are friends and he or she don't even look at you like that. And then you end up telling them that, now they're gonna look at you different. I, instantly, okay? When I was, uh, that could be a story time, but when I was coming out, I, I, I say that for a story time, but just know it ended our little friendship, me and a little friend I had. It ended our friendship and we was really close at the time. So it, it, if you want a chance losing your best friend, let them know. And if you don't, don't. Just act like you real drunk one night, get them real drunk one night and accidentally have sex. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, I have a son from another man and he doesn't even know about it. Now that's just trifling as hell. You know what I'm saying? I need you to go tell that man he got a son. Now if he's trifling, either way you still need to tell that man he got a son. <laughs> like, come on now, <laughs> that ain't right. Tell that man he got a son. Okay, I'm married with three kids, but something. Uh, sometimes I have wet dreams about women. Am I bisexual? I, I wanna explain to y'all what gay, lesbian, bisexual, all that. To be gay, lesbian, bisexual, whatever, you have to be attracted, sexually attracted to the same sex. So, and I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, what? <laughs> like, uh-uh, I mean, I smash it, but I'm not really gonna do it because I ain't really gay. Listen, baby, you're gay, okay? 
If, if you think about a woman and you're a woman in a sexual way, baby, you get. You get what I'm saying? Oh, you buy. If you like men, then you're looking at men in a sexual way too. You know, then therefore you're bisexual. So yeah, you bisexual. Okay. Next, um, <clears throat> I don't like hanging with one of my friends because she is a hoe. F any nigga with a blunt. <laughs> so your friend pretty much just like to have sex with dudes who, who got a blunt. Um, now let me tell you something. When you, um, I can only use when you get older because I'm older now. If you don't like her, don't talk to her, okay? Cut her off. You get what I'm saying? Cut her ass off. Cause let me tell you something. Birds of a feather flock together, baby. So if she walking around looking like a little thotty, smoking an L, I mean, excuse me, giving him some butt because he got a uh, L, then somebody gonna think you the same. You don't want them to think that. You get what I'm saying? So you don't have to hang around her because you said one of my friends. Sound like you got other friends that you can hang with. So go hang with them. You got to leave her where she at. Okay. All right. Um, I cheated on my ex with his best friend in the same room. You're creative. Um, either you creative or he's just stupid as hell. Now, I'm a very light sleeper. Uh, depending on if I'm drunk. <laughs> oh shit. Somebody might have passed on me once or twice. Yeah, I'm a light sleeper, so you might you might have gotten over on me on uh, if I was drunk. But I don't know. That's kind of close. I would have heard that. Somebody would have somebody would have uh, got hurt that day. But um, that ain't right. Y'all ain't right at all. All right. So next, I really want to have a threesome with my two female best friends. Um, girls just want to have fun. I say just do it for the sex. So don't fall in love. Ask them if they with it. Um, because if they look at you like you're crazy, like I said, you still might have the, you still might lose them. You know what I'm saying? You still might lose your best friend. So when you, when you get to talking to your friends and you get to talking nasty to them, everybody ain't with that. You know, so choose wisely. Um. All right, y'all, I appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all uh, hit that subscribe button, man. And if y'all want some BDC from me, please spell that backwards to yourself in your head right now. BDC, we're doing a uh, package deal right now. You can get uh, 10 of them things for the low. I'm going to put the link in the description. I know I have to make it sound like that because YouTube is tripping. However, if you want BDC, DBC, I got a link in the description right now. You can get something for the low, a good package deal for the low. Because it's uh, DBC month right now. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all make sure y'all hit the link in the description, man. I love y'all. I want to do more videos like this. Please, I'm about to start catfishing y'all. And I'm not even lying to you right now. If I follow you on Instagram and your page is on private, you're going to miss the chance to get catfished by me. Okay? If you want to get catfished by me, unlock you day on private your damn page okay and um i'm a catfish now if you don't want to be catfish keep it private you know what i'm saying but you will get catfished all right i love y'all appreciate y'all man we on to the next video if y'all want more like these or a part two let me know follow me on instagram at royalties world so you can we're gonna be playing more games like this because y'all all like yeah you know what i'm saying all right y'all we out peace out Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo, I cut the logo, I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three, pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, 
I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.